children you can see sitting here close from heritage child academy kabusa and up to one o'clock 1 30 they were not seen by their parents so hence they went to complain at kabusa divisional police headquarters so after the receipt of the complaint as usual, we made entry of missing persons. We deploy all our intelligent assets. We inform all our neighboring states through our signal, giving the description of the children. We work with all the communities and the stakeholders, the Mayanguas, the vigilantes, the hunters, all were carried along. Searches of all the bushes were also carried out. The school authorities were invited to the police for questioning and negligence. The case is still on. As God will have it, yesterday by 20, 30 hours, which is 8.30, our tactical men on stop and search food patrol at uh, Wei Division, which is Gens Village area, saw these three children who were in a distressed form. So they rescued them, took them to the station, handed them over to women police, who now started questioning them. And after questioning them, the DPO said, ah, a message was circulated about missing three children at Kabusa, so he quickly contacted his uh, colleague at Kabusa, the DPO, who now rushed down, and behold, it was discovered they were the ones. So after rescuing them, you know, it's almost two weeks now from 22nd to today, almost two weeks. So we now took them to the uh, police hospital, Muhammad Buhari Police Hospital, for medical check, which it has been done. They are found to be okay, and the psychological test or whatever will continue from time to time. Because for, for children of this nature to be away uh, from their parents for such a period of time, they need some, you know, checks. Trauma-wise, they have been traumatized, and that is why we have to take them to the hospital. So, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, as you can see them, the father is here, the mother is here. We are going to hand over officially the children to them to continue taking care of them. And that is why we all call you, because it has generated tension and it was a news all over. Three children were missing, but to God be the glory, we have rescued or we have found them today. Equally, I want to use this opportunity to appeal to parents, as well as proprietors of schools, that they should be cautious and be very careful about taking and bringing back their wards or children to and from schools 
Either they should dedicate somebody or they should do it themselves. Rather than allowing the children to be moving around or taking Okada. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. So the hanging over, do you need to cover it? They are already with them. Yeah. 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 It's okay, but ah, it's the same. So I have handed them over to the parents. But here, the parents please take care of them. They are our children. Second of uh, last month, which uh, is April. Eh? So I was in the house when my wife prepared for the children and take them to school. So after then, I go to work. So after I go to work, something like maybe after three, my wife now, now call me. I should go to school. She didn't see my children. I said, what happened? She said, she don't know. I now call the owner of the school. I said, madam, where is my children? She said, she'll take it easy. So the next thing, I have to come back home straight. When I come back home, I get home. I don't see anybody. I have to go to the school. I didn't see anybody. So that is the journey, when the journey started. So we are started looking for them everywhere, inside bush, everywhere. And by then my wife reported to police station. So since then we are going up and down to get them. By the grace of God this morning, uh, I now received call from a uh, 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 police station. Am I the uh, marvelous? Uh, Father, I say yes. Alex, father, I say yes. Chinenye, father, I say yes. The lady now said I should come to Uye police station. That my children, they are there. So I just quickly, I fall on top of bed. I just pick my shoneka and sing great. I take off from my house. I call one of my brothers, then follow me. We take dro uh, drop straight to the police station. Getting there, I see my children. I was, I was so happy because for tomorrow now we completed two weeks. Since then, me and my wife will never sit down or to even eat. We are going from here to here, here to here. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. And I pray to Almighty God that this thing that happened, and by the grace of God, we see these children. I don't even want it to happen to any other person because it's not easy. If it is some parent before now, maybe the man or the woman for die, but as thank God, God doing his work and we are alive now. So I want first of all, I want to thank God for the the help that God do to us to see our children. Second, I want to thank police, Nigeria police force for helping me to get back my children. Thirdly, I want to greet every human being in this country, even in the world, because everybody was busy praying for my, me and my family. Sometimes I would sit down like this, phone week, person will call me on phone, I'm so so pastor, I'm praying for your family that your children must come back. So I want to use this opportunity to thank everybody in this country, everybody that participates, both police, both individual, those that help. I want to thank them and I say that Almighty God can never allow such thing to happen to anybody in Jesus' name. How that old is, is your children? One is eight years, one is eight years, two, the second one is six years, the third one is two years. Marvelous is eight years. Alex is six years. Lehabot is two years. So that is what happened. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. To be honest, since that two is I'm not living in. I, I'm a dead man since then, because just like person, as oh, this, yeah, these two legs that you used to stand, somebody come and carry it off. What you go use stand? Nothing again. So this is the something that I have as as long as this life is concerned. My this is my investment and this is my life. So without this, my children, I don't think that. Uh, to be honest, I'm not. I, I cannot live for this world. But by the grace of God. God have done it for me and my family. Okay. So it's not easy. I didn't even pray to any of my enemy.
to see this type of solution because it's not easy. During this period, the children were kidnapped. Did anybody call the man for? Nobody. Even I, even even when I I I, I told people say please let them call. You understand? Because people were, everybody was worried. People are saying let people call. You understand? Even I then call anyhow. People, people, people will do it, but not what they call, but thank God that God do it through my people and everybody, both police station, police people, you understand? Because it's not easy. It's not easy. I thank God. Uh, that one is when I get to first. So the question is not for now because school is, is not yet open. So when the school opens, I will think about that one. So Thank, thank you. I want to advise people that uh, this life, uh, anything that happens to you, first of all, believe in God. Because with God, all things are possible. And anything that happens to a human being, first of all, let me tell you, to be honest, faith. Mind, when you have faith, God will do anything that you ask. But since then, I will see those things that happen. And my, my mind, my faith always tell me that my children must come back. I never want to say, I never want to think that they will not come back. My faith always tell me that they are, and they see them. You can, you can see through them. So, first of all, God and my faith and people. Because to be hundred, to, over, and over happy, over happy, over happy. You saw me that day in the court. <laughs> you know, I'm not feeling happy that But now, I'm so, madam, according, according to the police, he said along that to yes, side, that's when the police uh, police patrol find them, the patrol team find them. Uh, just three of them, then drop them there. So, that is when the police pick them. So, that is what happened. My name is Mr. Sundan. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. She saw these two ways. I never eat food. What I said, they are forcing me to drink water. I said, I don't know whether my children are eating or not. I will not eat. Because if I go on now, I will go and eat, eat, eat. I will eat over it. I thank God. I thank God. I thank the Nigeria police. For what they did for me, they tried. No, My no, name is Joy no, Sunday. Okay.